What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got our very own fish strap right here. We actually just dropped these on the website and today we're going to be putting them to the test to see what we can catch in them. We're at a local bridge filled with exotic sea creatures from eels, shrimp, octopus, the list goes on. But yeah, we got to get bait in this thing and then find a good spot to place it. Well, look at that. We already got something pretty exotic. There's like a certain time of the year that a whole bunch of jellyfish get pushed into the inlet here and we start seeing a lot. So right here, we got a foldable six hole fish trap. This thing is handmade, so it's very, very quality. Will not let you down in any sort of conditions. But first things first, we got to get some bait in here. And for bait today, we're using shrimp. Everything absolutely loves shrimp. I've never seen a fish in the ocean not eat it. So that's our go-to bait, but we got to get it in this little slit here. This is actually a cool feature. So the fish don't take your bait out of the trap. You put it in this little slit here and it holds it all nice and sturdy and they can't just like pick at it slowly. They actually have to go in the trap to get to it. Zip this thing up. Just like that. Bait's in here. We got to find a spot to place this thing. Yo, look, all the little baby Sergeant Majors on this wall here. A lot of fish and eels like to hang up in here because of all the structure. There's actually like a four foot ledge that goes underneath there. If somehow we can get the trap under there, that could be a cool spot. What about that little cove in there, that tide pool? That would be insane. There are so many little creatures that hang up in there. It's like a little, what would you call that? A tide pool? A lagoon. A lagoon, yeah, something like that. We may have to swim out there and place a strap. That's like a key spot. Yeah, this is a sick spot. Okay, where? Who's going down? Me or you? So you're probably wondering, how does water get from here to here? Well, if you look, I don't know how well you can see, but right under there, about 20 feet down, there's a little like slit with an opening, and that's how the water gets in, all the fish and vertebrates, and it's pretty decent size, so there can definitely be some bigger fish. Bro, this is show you guys how fish and stuff is actually get in here. So um, send her down, eh? is placed wow so you can kind of see it right around there puffed under the ledge a bit i think we're gonna have some luck here i mean i don't see how something can't go in that yeah there's a lot of bait and there's a bunch of coral on the wall too yeah so. just a lot and look of look at the fish general. look at the fish all over it right now this is gonna be insane holy cow how long do you think you gotta get that probably an hour let's go dive around we don't have any dead so we're not gonna be uh, we can definitely take a look. Yo, that was sick. All right, here we go.
this guy. He just said there's a big shark over here. I don't know if there's... Yo, you, you serious about that shark? Yeah, there's no manatees, no sharks. Oh, okay. Okay. No oh. sharks, but manatees. The good thing is they're not sharks. Bridge is actually rising right now. Trap is placed over there. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, absolutely beautiful down there. Tons of fish, tons of life, but our trap is definitely ready to be checked on. So we're gonna swim over there and see what we got in here. Cool. Seems creepy, I will say that. Just being in there. Very, very weird, you know? Just don't know what's gonna come out. Let me help you up here. And we're gonna check this thing. I see the trap. Oh, bro, there's a fish right next to it. Look at the fish. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna put the camera on the door. There's a fork fish standing right around the trap trying to figure his way in. Oh, it looks like something's moving in there down right there. Bro, what is it? We were just looking at a trap. There's a fish swimming around it, and we think there's something in there. Here, you want to take the camera? Yeah. Here. Our first bingo brand fish trap. What a success. Go get a fish trap right now. Link is in the description down below. Should we swim back over there and then check it out? All right. So first things first, I don't want to get bit here, but we got a little lane snapper. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the colors on that fish. Beautiful. We'll release this guy. Let him go his way. See you, buddy. Oh, oh, oh! Golden tail moray, bro. Look at this. No, do not bite me. Do not bite me. Oh my gosh. This is a big boy right here. Bro, he has one eyeball. He has one eyeball. Look at this. There's no eye on that side. And then look at this side. Whoa, wait. What? One eye, Willie. <laughs> Holy cow! We finally caught him. How? How? Okay, well that just shows you these things are like indestructible. They can survive anything. Not sure what happened there, but absolutely beautiful golden tail moray right here. Look at that eel. Oh my gosh, guys. No eye on that side, and then he's got an eye on this side. There he goes. <laughs> right under the ledge. All right, quickly, we'll get these guys in. These look like grunts. You can actually hear them. Hear them making that sound? That's why they're called grunts, but really, really pretty fish. If we could one day get a school of these in the pond, that'd be epic. Here they go. See you, boys. <laughs> Dude, what in the world? Let's check the trap, make sure we didn't miss anything. <laughs> but, arrow crab. No way. I swear to gosh. <laughs> Look at that. That is why we checked the trap, because there's little micro sea creatures just like that that you'll miss out on sometimes, but that's a little arrow crab. See that big old arrow at the top there? And if you look closely, he's got nice bright blue claws. Really, really cool invertebrate. Awesome in the aquariums, but we're gonna release him. We'll put him right onto a rock. Here he goes. See ya, bud. Right there. Wow, 
What an absolutely crazy day. Bingle brand fish trap was a success. First time ever using one, came out here, put it in a really, really prime location, ended up catching a golden tail moray eel, invertebrates, fish, all different species. Maybe I was expecting something, but not all of that. So if you guys haven't already, go check out Bingle brand fish traps. Link is in the description down below. We only have about 500 available. So once these are all gone, they're gone. We didn't end up keeping anything. We really just wanted to see if the fish trap would work and it did. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite thing that we caught today. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, see y'all in the next one. See you.